kind of get started now. So first of all, good morning. Um, thanks for joining me today on this webinar about content management systems. Um, my name is Stephanie Pryor. I am the business development manager here at WebMax. And I'm just going to walk you through the back end of our system and teach you how to add good quality content um, that's going to help you build out your website. Okay, so um, I'm sure you know this already, but Mortgageware is an enterprise level website solution that accommodates corporate branch loan officer and partner websites. And all of your content can be controlled from one centralized location, which is the content management system that we're going to review today. Um, Realtyware uses a similar CMS, so I recommend signing on for our 3.3 webinar training that is specific to the Realtyware platform if you need more in-depth training on that. Um, so I know there are some, some differences between the two, um, and it's definitely good to log on to that. So this is just going to be a very basic overview. Okay, so I got my nice fancy site here. I'm going to sign in. Oh, um, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to submit those in the questions portion of the GoToWebinar toolbar, and I can answer those for you. And then I'll also stop at the end and you know address any questions that you might have. Okay, so now we're successfully logged into the back end of the website. And I'm just going to walk you through these tabs up here. So first we'll start with the dashboard. Um, so, you know, this is obviously a dummy website, so we don't really have any leads or anything going on here, but when you um, go into your own dashboard, you're going to have an overview of all the leads that you have, all the loans. You'll have these site summaries that will show you how many leads and loans are coming into all of your different sites. So it's just kind of a top level overview of what's going on with your website as a whole. And then we also have these quick tabs down here, but you can access all of this up here. I don't really use the dashboard. Um, it, it is nice to, when you actually do have leads and loans coming in to be able to see that in one report. Um, and then if you did want these quick links, you can use that. So we'll just move on to content now. So this is the area where you're going to be updating pretty much everything that's on your website um, as far as what people are going to see. So we have pages, um, that's just basic web pages, protected pages. Um, that's something that only people in your company can access, so it's not, um, it's not accessible by the public. Um, we have blogs, news, job postings. Um, you can upload documents onto our website. Um, which you know is great if there's something that you want to share internally, um, whether you want it to be public or not, you can do that there. Uh, you can also add testimonials, advertisements, uh, blocks are just you can configure uh, what content you want to appear like on certain parts of the web page and on different uh, pages on your website. So I'm just going to walk you through creating a page. Okay, so once you have an actual website, you're going to have a lot here. We only have one uh, on this, but that's going to show you all of the pages that you currently have on your top level site. Okay. So this is the document title. This is what's going to appear up on this little tab here. Um, you can just put a title there. You don't have to do a page title in addition. Uh, but if you wanted, you know, it to say, for example, maybe, oh, welcome to, welcome to Stephanie's page. That's what's going to show up up there. And then I'll put in a separate page title as well. Um, if you're familiar with SEO, you can add metadata here. So it's important to make sure that you put the most uh, prominent keywords first. So we'll do mortgage. And you can add as many of those as you want, but whatever you want search engines to highlight the most prominently, you need to put first. 
then we can also add a description for our page. And it's good to incorporate a lot of those keywords in that. We also suggest, you know, adding some contact, contact info in there. Because, you know, when people are on Google, Bing, Yahoo, whatever their search engine of choice is, this is what's going to come up under your link. So that little description that you see there, that's what you're adding here. Site summary. You can manually enter something in there. You don't have to. Um, it's automatically generated by whatever you put in the body. Okay. So for the body, we call this a WYSIWYG editor, which stands for what you see is what you get. So basically, whatever you put in here, how you see it in the back end is what it's going to look like on the front end, just with you know, your theme and styling added on top of that. We'll just do something basic. OK. Um, and then this is just going to come across as whatever your standard text is on your page. If you want you know, to add headers, you can do that here, just for style purposes. And then you can build this out as much as you like. I'm not going not gonna to do too much more there. Um, but I also want to show you how to add media to this as well. It's kind of just the more content, the better. <laughs> We'll put a picture in there. Okay, actually, yeah. So if you want to add a photo, you just click on this lovely, lovely little icon of the tree. It's going to take you to your file browser. I don't know if you guys are fans of The Office, but that's my that's my go-to for samples, sample images at least. I'm going to upload that. You can also add a description to your image, which is actually good for search engine optimization. So you can tell I've done this before. You can adjust the alignment. So let's say for this picture, I want this text to show up next to the picture. So I'm going to left align it. Don't want the text to touch it. So you can add extra space here. Um, for padding just so that the text isn't actually touching the image. So I'm just going to put 10 in there. I recommend 10 personally. Okay. Uh, you can manually resize it in the image editor, but you can also just do this, which I think is a lot easier. So now I have media on my page. But let's say I want to take it a step further and I want to add a video to this. And you know, video is really, really great for content. So I'm going to click on this little media icon up here. And I'm going to add a YouTube video. So you have to click on Source. Once you get into YouTube, uh, you're going to have to go to Share and then get the embed code for that. And that will, rather than just putting a hyperlink to a video, this will actually embed the video on your page. So people can just click and watch right there. They don't have to navigate away from your website. OK. You can't see it on the back end, but I'm going to show you once the page is published how the video shows up. I'll let's align that as well. OK. So I've added all the content to my page. Uh, so now when you go to publish it, if you want to change the URL, you do have that option. It's going to be automatically populated based on your document title up there. So let's say I want to change it to just Stephanie Test. Okay. You definitely want to make sure you have publish clicked. Um, so what uh, publish to all sites means is if you don't just want this on your top level site, um, you could just select this, and then it will be published to every site that you have. And then if you don't want search engines to uh, index every, every instance of this page on all of your child sites, you would click this. 
um, I would recommend doing that just because you don't want the duplicates of that coming up over and over and over again in the search engine. But for now, we're just going to do this. And whenever you add media, I do recommend switching to full HTML, especially with videos. It can get a little, it can get a little iffy, so you want to make sure that you do full HTML. And then I click Add, and now I have a new page. Again, this is going to show you just a list of every page that you have on your website. And this is the one that I just created. And as I explained before, that document title, that's what you see up here in the tab. And then this is my page title. And then this is all of my lovely content. So, you know, let's say I, I really like this page and I want this to be something very prominently featured on my website. So I want to add it to my menu. I will show you how to do that now. So we're going to navigate to the Menus tab. You can add multiple menus to your website, but right now we're just going to edit that top level website, with, or menu rather, which is what you see here. So we're going to go to Action, List Links, and this is going to show me everything that that lives in that uh, top level navigation. So these are what you're going to see here, leftmost, whatever, the, this basically just shows like based on what level uh, you want this to show up on your menu. So this is what's going to be what people see when they go on the website. If they hover over four members, this is what they're going to see under that. And we're going to add a link to the page that I just created. Um, we do have a quick paths over here, so let's say that you decided that you wanted to add a blog to your website. You can just go in here and just click that, and it's, it's as easy as that. So I created a web page. Hold on here, i got to get it to show up. There we go. Okay. So this is, again, the document title that I put in for my page. Once I start typing that in, it's going to auto-complete here. So you don't have to go back and copy URLs or anything like that. You can just type it in there, and it'll show up for you. Let's say I want to, I'll call it About Stephanie. Um, when you do one of these paths, it's going to automatically create a name. You can change that to whatever you want, though. It's very, it's very much customizable. Okay, so this has been added to my menu now. But, you know, I don't want About Stephanie to come before Home, so I want to reorganize my menu. And it's as easy as just dragging, dragging this wherever you like it. If you want to move it down um, from the top level, you just move it under what well, we could do for members. But I'll move it. I'll move it down here. Then just refresh, and the change will be made for you. And again, there's my page. Do you guys have any questions so far? You can enter them in the questions portion of the GoToWebinar toolbar. Okay. All right. So now we can move on to the actual users of your website. Okay. So there's a couple different ways, a couple different ways to add people to your website. Let's say that I want to, you know, manually, excuse me, manually add a lead to my website. I'm going to use my coworker. You can choose a time zone there. Um, this is where you're going to select the role. You shouldn't have to do this because, you know, when leads come in, if they sign up for your website, they're automatically going to have this um, login information generated for them. So you don't have to do this manually every time, but it's just good to see how to do it. And then, you know, if you were the administrator for your um, for your mortgage where uh, 
for your mortgage or a site, you can go in here and add people that way. Um, okay. Apparently Sierra already already has a username, but that's how you're going to do that. So moving on to loan officers. We're going to add a loan officer in here. I'm going to make it myself. And you can add all this information as you go. If you have a couple branches, um, you can choose which branch that loan officer should be associated with. You can add a photo, add a bio here. Um, it's also important to note, um, if you do want to create um, user login credentials for that uh, loan officer and you're creating them, you can go into your configuration tab under mortgage settings. Make sure that you have this selected. So that's automatically going to create a login for that loan officer so you don't have to do, you don't have to take any extra steps. So I just added a loan officer, but let's say that I also want to set up a site for that loan officer. What I'm going to do, go over here, it's as easy as this, action, create site. I'll try a different one here, sorry guys. Okay, so I'll just show you an example on here. And then let's say we want to do my name. And it's as easy as that. My, my loan officer website's been created. And then again, using these different items, that's how you can go when you go into this website. If you wanted to customize it, that's how you're going to do that. But I think it's important to know just how to create the site. Okay. And then you can also manually create sites. And it's, again, going to give you a list of every site that you have and the type of site that it is. But for now, we'll just do, we'll stick with loan officers. I'm going to select a type down here. I want it to be a loan officer, but you can also do corporate sites, um, branch sites, and affiliate sites in here as well. I'm going to pick a random theme, and you can play around with the themes as much as you like. Make sure you select the default profile. Check off all these permissions. Okay, and there's my site. And again, as a site admin, you'll be able to log in here to edit this site specifically. And now I'm editing that site that I just created. Um, 
you can also, on your top level website, which is for me this lenders one, you can just click action manage this site and then it will take you. It'll take you here. So now I'm back managing that site that I just created and it's easier than actually typing in the URL and then logging in. You can just you know be in your top level site, click on action and manage and then then you're uh, in that in the content management system for that specific website. Um, so that pretty much sums it up for today. Um, I really just wanted to walk you through adding content to your website. It's, it's really simple once you get the hang of it. Um, you know, our content management system is very user friendly. So um, it's, it's a great, great way to, to build up your site and to drive traffic that way. Um, if you think about it like this, uh, websites are like billboards. So you know you could have you could have a billboard you know next to one highway, and you know so many hundreds or thousands of people will see that. Um, but if you put a billboard somewhere else on another highway, that's even more traffic. So the more websites that you create, the more traffic you're going to drive, and ultimately the more business you can do, um, as long as you're leveraging your website appropriately. So um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, do you have any questions? Okay, well thank you guys so much again for joining me. Um, I'll be uploading a recording of this webinar um, for later use, so just look for some follow-up from me and have a great day.